If you are like me, chances are that you would love to pull stuff out of your monitor. Like money, food, and a sex life. But all I got was this lame pixel art character. Hello humans, artificial intelligences and other life forms that might watch this video. I got nominated for the Mrs. Chain Leather Jam by Zyger. This means I had one week to make a game based off her jam entry. Her game is about this yellow dude fighting a red wizard by collecting letters. And then for some reason the perspective changes and you still collect letters. And then it goes back and you collect some more letters. And then you die. Because this game is super hard and you die again and again. And then you start to question your life and begin to wonder if Benny was right when he told you in the kindergarten that you suck and won't accomplish anything. Yeah, nice premise. So I began my game by drawing the characters. We have a red wizard and this weird looking yellow guy. Don't ask me why he's yellow. Maybe he just suffers from jaundice and is about to die. Like all the plants in my flat. My game is very simple. Based on Zyga's game, there are some letters you have to collect. In my case, you have to form a specific word by jumping into the correct letters. And when you collect the wrong ones, you lose health. In Zyga's game, the perspective changes after you collected a word. But the new perspective is still very 2D-ish. I would like to switch to real 3D perspective. And why stop there? Let's make it augmented reality. My game idea was that the player gets thrown out of the monitor and lands on my desk. And I've never done something like this, so this might be a great challenge. I started by taking a picture of my desk, put it into Unity, add an invisible plane and let a cube move on it. Nice, this looks pretty awful. The most important part of realistic augmented reality are shadows. Luckily for me, some smart guy have created a script that allows to cast a shadow on invisible objects. I just joined his project and uh, now this looks much better. I planted down a few invisible cubes and yeah, this looks reasonable. Now let's make a good scene. I took hundreds of bad pictures and decided to go with that one. The most difficult part was to put down planes and cubes that simulate the objects on my desk. This took quite some time, but eventually I got a sufficient result. Now, when I switch the standard material with the special invisible one, we can see the cube on my desk. I just added a keyboard and a mouse model and we have our augmented reality scene. To get the yellow dude into the 3D world, I made a voxel model. To do so, I used Goxel. That's a program where you can simply paint your models. It's like Minecraft, just without the mine. Or craft or enemies, or sheep, or players. Oh, okay, it's not like Minecraft. Just a 3D pixel art program. I guess this is the easiest way to make simple 3D models that fit the 2D versions perfectly. Afterwards, I made this cube so we can collect the letters in 3D or just play around with it. That's fun as well. In the 3D version, I want the letters to fall down so you can collect them. Not. Yeah, that's exactly how I wanted it. But with the magic of coding and video editing, it's a work. And our 3D guy also gets some animations. With everything working, I polished things up. Collecting stuff now creates some cool particle effects. I use BFXR to make some good sounds. And a beatbox for some bad music. I hope it's not too annoying. The last thing missing is a transition from the 2D to the 3D game. With the Unity's timeline feature, I made a smooth camera movement and the player is catapulted out of the screen at the same time. Together with the letter explosion, this looks surprisingly good. You can play augmented letters now on itch.io. And I hope I see you next week for some more game dev. Bye.